God is good. All the time, God is good. So for some of you, today is the second communion. You remind me, I told you yesterday that uh, in 1990, I received my first communion. And uh, I was younger, and by that time, our school was very close to the church, to the cathedral. I would walk like uh, four to five minutes to the cathedral church from our school, and our school was always ending by uh, 4.20, and mass at cathedral would begin uh, 4.30. So after my first communion, I remember on the Monday, I said, I must go to receive the second communion. And then actually, I was like going again and again. After second communion, I went to the third communion. I was counting until I couldn't count anymore. I loved it to receive Jesus every time. But remember, yesterday I told you, uh, in my country, at your age, you can even walk by yourself to the church. I had that privilege, so I would walk to the church. After Mass, I would walk about 20 to 25 minutes to my house by myself. And it is okay there, but for you, you cannot do that. Your parents have to bring you to church. Remember yesterday I told you, since you want to receive communion more and more, before the weekend you have to remind your parents. Just ask them that question. Mom, Dad, which mass are we going this weekend? That would be a very good question. It won't be like, oh, are we going to church or not? Mm -mm. Which mass? They will tell you which mass. And actually, they won't tell you, oh, we're not going to go because you have already chosen to go. It will be very good to, for you uh, to ask that. That is, we need more and more. In the gospel today, these people, after being fed by Jesus, they are looking for him. And once they find him, they ask, Rabbi, where, when did you get here? And Jesus says, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. And Jesus says, do not work for the, that food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life. And we, that food you, which you received yesterday, and you're going to continue to receive that is the food that endures for eternal life. And that is a very good choice of you. And Jesus says at the end of this gospel, this is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. And that is Jesus. We believe in him. We receive him in the Eucharist. Such a beautiful thing to do. So Jesus says, yeah, I know you want more, but not more of that food, but the food that endures forever. So Jesus wants us to go deeper, to know him, to love him, and to serve him, to have faith, great faith. And he says, Faith is going to lead you to do good. We have faith so that we do good things. We don't, have, we don't do good things instead of faith, not at all. Faith is leading us to do good things. So as you have begun to receive communion, that was first yesterday. You can count for this week maybe, but after that, just come again and again. Be happy to receive Jesus, to nourish your hearts. The Eucharist is the center of our faith. We find Jesus in the Eucharist. Jesus 
stays with us in the Eucharist. Remember when those two disciples who were going to Emmaus, they didn't recognize Jesus until then when they were at the table. And there, Jesus took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave to his disciples. Then their eyes were opened. They knew that, oh, this is the Lord Jesus. What happened? Jesus vanished. He went away. Where did he go? He became the sacrament. He stayed in the sacrament, which you and I receive every day. How beautiful thing it is. So today, in your introduction, introductory remark, you said your parents and grandparents are watching this Mass at home and you would wish them to be with you here. I agree. But our church is already full with social distancing. They couldn't be here. Know that they are praying for you. And they love you so much and they would like you to continue enjoying this faith. So let us also pray for them that God may grant them the grace they need to enjoy their faith. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good.